meteorologist Thomas Geeboy with weather. After a pleasant start this morning, we got closer to the afternoon. We saw those muggy conditions return. Those muggy conditions have led to persistent cloud cover today, which is kind of a good thing here, seeing so the clouds more so the bright side of things, keeping us a little bit on the cooler side. If we wouldn't have seen all these clouds today, temperatures could have easily got into the mid and upper 80s in some spots. Some spots around the wiregrass getting those temperatures close to 90 degrees. But speaking of cloud coverage and also rain, really haven't seen that much, especially in the wiregrass. All the showers today have, for the most part, been in the panhandle of Florida. One shower making its way through Cottonwood right now. You can see it making its way off to the west extremely slowly. Also a lot of showers to the south of I-10. The best chance of rain throughout the rest of this evening is going to be along the Florida Panhandle. Moisture continues to make its way off to the off to our east very, very slowly. So you can see all those showers making their way through Jacksonville. Even see a few showers in the Gulf of Mexico. Those kind of just staying put. Really haven't seen those move anywhere. We were talking about those yesterday. And speaking of all that moisture, you can see where that edge of the moisture leads. You see the dew point right now, 70 degrees in Dothan. We haven't seen dew points in the 70s for quite some time. Birmingham a little bit drier with dew points in the 60s, but notice that edge of the darker shaded green continuing to make its way up. So we'll continue to watch moisture being funneled into the wiregrass. However, that's not going to spell rain for us going into the next couple of days. But what that will mean, though, without the chance of rain, our high temperatures are going to be going up. Unfortunately, today saw those high temperatures into the low and mid 80s, but checking on temperatures right now, some spots not even getting in those temperatures in the 80s. Abbeville, for the most part today, has been in the upper 70s. Andalusia, the one outlier, seeing those temperatures into the lower 90s. Hot to say the least and a little bit warmer along the coast, seeing temperatures into the mid 80s, 85 degrees in Destin. But if you're planning out the rest of your evening tonight, Temperature is going to remain on the mild side. Temperature is going to be in the 80s. Notice by 7 p.m. temperatures comfortably back into the 70s, so overall should be quite nice. But your future cast going into tonight and tomorrow morning should just see a mixture of sun and clouds. So don't really have to worry about any rain tomorrow. Tomorrow, rain chance is going to be a little bit lower than what we saw yesterday. The best chance of rain is going to be along the Florida Panhandle on our eastern portions of the viewing area. Only about a 10% chance of rain, though, 20% for the Florida Panhandle. Going into Friday, rain chances slack off, slack off even more basically going with a dry day on Friday. For, so for the first time, it looks like we should see a dry Friday night football. Tropical update, still not much going on. Tropics nice and quiet in the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico. Watching two areas of interest, though. Tropical Depression 9 has formed, but it's expected to make its way off to the north. So no threat to land. Also another area with about a 80% chance of formation in the next five days, but that's also expected to go off the north, so not really expecting anything much from that either. Gulf cast for tomorrow, dangerous chance for rip currents. Always be careful getting into the water, especially tomorrow, but your seven day forecast temperatures slowly going to be beginning to go up. Temperatures in the mid 80s by tomorrow, but rain chances really begin to go down heading into the weekend, looking nice and dry and Sunday looks to be the hottest of the ball. Was seeing temperatures in the 90s, had to raise it into the low mm. 90s with the lack of rain and also moisture. But changes on the way until next week. Another cold front comes in, another taste of fall as well. Just when I thought we were through with the 90s. Doesn't look like it quite yet. Hopefully things can change from now. All right, Thomas, thank you. You're with football.